Now we are going to be talking about looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. Fix your eyes upon Jesus. It's in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Hebrews 12 2. Kumtanzama Yesu. Macho yetu tuyakaze kwa Yesu. Amen. Banaza sifiwe sana. That is where the secret is. That if we are going to take in this faith. To hold on. To keep on. Then our eyes must be on Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. The author and finish of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him. Endured the cross. Despising the shame. And they sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 2. Verse 3 sorry. Verse 3. For consider him that endured such contradiction or opposition or suffering of sinners against himself. Lest he be wearied and faint in your mind. Consider him. In the same word. Looking unto Jesus. Considering Jesus. Angalia yale ambao yesu wamepitia kwa njili yetu. Mateso mengi. Akapigo, akakataliwa. Isaiah says, that is a man of sorrows, rejected by men, despised. And we consider him stricken by God. Kama ni mungu tu, aliamua kumtesa pana, sio mungu ni makosa yetu na thambi zetu. Ni magonjwa yetu na laana zetu ndiyo zimpeleka msalabani. Ili tupate kupona na tuwakoke na tukombolewe. It's you and me who took Jesus to the cross. What does it mean? Looking unto Jesus. The Greek word there is aphorao, which means to turn the eyes away from other things and fix them on something. That is what it means. That second verse. Look at Jesus. It also means to stare at we are in first two. To give a keen gaze on something. Keen gaze. Staring at something. Gazing at something. Fixing your attention there. Giving your attention to Jesus. As the one that you, you love. As the one that you know. As your savior. He is your savior. You are redeemer. You are everything. The answer man to your life. It's like telling, telling him, I have no other place to turn to. I have no one else to help me. I have no one else to take me over. That's what it means. Looking unto Jesus. Na ya kwamba, kama jinsi mungu alivyo kuwa na yeye. Maniko anasema kwamba, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with the power. And how he went around doing good and healing all oppressed of the devil. Why? Because God was with him. Kama vile mungu alivyo kuwa na yeye hata hivyo yako pamoja nasi. Kama vile alivyo muwezesha kutimiza hatima yake pango wa mungu ulikuwa ni ya kwamba yesu aje na afe kwa jile la mbizetu. And it was not easy. They wanted to kill him before his time. You remember that? But he could not. They could not kill him. Just like they will not kill you before your time. They will not take you off before your time. And so God was with him to make sure he preserves him. He takes care of him. He lifts him. He fights for him. Mungu alikuwa pale. Amtete, amlinde, amfiche. Paka wakati uliokuwa amepanga. Ili ya kwamba afikilie malengo ya mungu pale msalabani. Ili wana mimi tuokoke. Mungu wakona pango jia maisha yako. The Bible says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And Jeremiah says, they are not for evil but for good. Every day you wake up, let's remember, we are not agendaless. God has an agenda for your life. God has a plan for your life. He has a blueprint for your life. You are not just living for the sake of living. Uh -uh. Kila siku kiamuka, mbingu inapangilio wako siku hiyo. And that's why it's very important for us to pray. God, lead me. What do you have for me? What should I do? What is my assignment 
Give me the grace. Give me the wisdom. Whatever that is required, ask God and God will fulfill it. And as you live to fulfill the purpose of God, your life will be fulfilled. And that's what happened. God was with Jesus. Ndio natuambia tumwangalie yeye Yesu Kristo. Tusije tukakata tamaa. Hebu tuone vile Bwana Mungu alivyotenda kazi yake. Alivyo timiza mpango wake maishani mwa Yesu. Na vile hatimaye alipata ushindi pale msalabani. Na ndio maandiko yanasema in all these things we are more than conquerors through Jesus. Fixing your eyes upon Jesus. Weka macho yako pale kwa Yesu. Usiatoe hapo. He says it is turning the eye away from other things and fixing them on something. That is the original interpretation of that first word there. Looking unto Jesus. That looking in the Bible. In Amanisha, you pretend you are not seeing other things. Your only um, attention or your only thing, your only focus and object of focus is Jesus. Sauti zitapita huku na zingine huku. Lakini wewe unasikia sauti ya mchungaji. Unakumbuka Yesu akiuliza wanafunzi wake, "Je, watu wanasema mimi ni nani?" Kasema wengine wanasema wewe ni Elia, wengine wanasema wewe ni mmoja wa manabii, wengine wewe ni Yohana mbatizaji, wengine ni iki, Yeremia. Akauliza na nyinyi mnasema mimi ni nani? Sauti ni nyingi. Zinasema mambo mengi kuhusu maisha yako. Mambo mengi kuhusu Mungu, kuhusu kanisa. Lakini wewe unafuata sauti gani? Anauliza, are you also confused like the rest? Petros said, teacher, teacher, teacher. You are the Christ. The anointed son of God. The Messiah. The one who was sent to redeem us. Hallelujah. Akamwambia haya. Damu na nyama hawanja kufunulia. Ama zinja kufunulia. Lakini baba alia mbinguni. You walk and live by revelation. That's what it means to fix your eyes upon Jesus. You have a revelation of life. You know where you are going. You are not just walking aimlessly. You know God is in charge. God is taking care. Aujua kesho itakuwaje lakini unajua aliye na kesho yako. So how to go pa kesho? I will go pe 2021. When you are crossing over to 2020. Prophecies zile zilitukua zinatokea kila mahali ni mingi sana. Thank God he gave us this. This word pressing on. Because God knew that 2020 will be 2020. <laughs> huh? Lakini ukiwa na Yesu hata ikiwa namna gani hata ikibandilika hautaogopa. Hallelujah. Because you are, you know you are safe. The Bible says I will fear not. That is Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah 41:10. Fear not for I the Lord your God I am with you Hallelujah God is with us The I am The I am is with us it Says don't be dismayed For I am your God Imagine the creator of the universe Mungu aliomba mbingu na inji Aliomba nyota na mwezi na njua Akaomba bahari zote Akaomba milima, akaomba mwezi, akaomba mawingu, kila kitu. Huyo mungu ndiye mungu wako. Ndiye baba yako. Mungu asie shindwa na lolote. Mungu mwenye nguvu na mamlaka yote. Aketie kwenye kiti cha ensi. Mungu wa milele. Mumba wa vyote. Bile vingine vyote vimeumbwa lakini ye anja umbwa. The Bible says is the first and the last. The beginning and the end. The alpha and. Hapa katikati hakuna kitu kikinde kukutisha. So I am your God, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. See, God has committed himself to do all these things. Asa to ogope nini? Ni mogope nani? Ni mogope nani? Ni mogope nani? Ni mogope nani? 
Unakumbuka hizo nyimbo? Yesu ni ngome yangu kimbilio langu. Hizo ndio zilikuwa zinafuma si you. <laughs> Siku hizo. <laughs> so anasema usiogope. Tukipata ufunuo wa Mungu. Mungu ndio wande kandiko anasema fitting or yes upon him. Because tukiona Yesu, tukipata Yesu tumepata Mungu. Yesu akamwambia Filipo umeniona, umeona nani? Baba, wacha kusema tuonyeshe tu, 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 Mungu. Remember that that time? I think it's John chapter 16 verse 6 downwards. Eh? Anasema tuonyeshe. Yesu Yesu aliposema I am the way the truth and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Then Philip, is it Philip or Thomas? Philip, say he's sure as the father. Akamuliza nimekuwa na nyinyi miaka yote hii. Wakati na unasema ni muonyeshe. Kwani unjajua mimi niko ndani ya baba na baba ako ndani? Ukiniona umeona nani? Baba. So Mungu anasema ako pamoja nasi. And when we have Christ, we have God with us. He is Emmanuel. God together with us. Hallelujah. So the question is when our eyes are not on Jesus where are they? When your eyes are not on Jesus where are they? Jesus is the only constant in life. He's the only thing that cannot change. His power, his position, he is exalted forever. Seated on the right hand of the throne. He does not change. The Bible says, James chapter 1 and verse 17, he does not change like the moving shadows. There is no variation or shadow with him of turning. Utapata mungu jana likuwa maminifu leo amebandilika. Jana likuwa naponya leo aponyi. Pana. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Habandiliki. Watu wanaweza kubandilika. Mzee wako anaweza kubandilika. Ma, franjirani wanaweza kubandilika. Viongozi wanabandilikanga. Wanasiasa wanaweka ahadi ya watatimiza. Watu wa mungu wanabandilika. Nani watu wa mungu? Lakini yeye abandiliki. He is the same every day. He has been faithful to others. He will be faithful to you. He fulfilled his promises to Abraham. He will fulfill to you. Because he has not changed and he will not change. He is forever faithful. The Bible says even if we change. Or we become faithless. He cannot disown himself. He will remain faithful. Amen. Amen. So, the work of the enemy is to, to make people look on other things. Remember, our main word is looking unto Jesus. Looking. And we have seen the divination says, turning away from all others and just putting your gaze on that one thing. And that is Christ. Because it's looking unto Jesus, looking unto Jesus, fixing your eyes upon Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. But the enemy wants us to turn our eyes on many, many other things around us and forget about Jesus. Disaster. Na nimeuliza swali ya mungu nijibu. Wakati macho yetu yako kwa Yesu yako hapi. You still answer me that question. Maybe after the service. Where are our eyes? Because that is where the problem is even today. If we can discipline ourselves and by God's grace, learn to pay attention to God. And no matter how the devil tries to push us away from that, we bring and we want to bring our attention to God, back to God. What is God saying? What is God's take? What is heaven's take? Even when it looks like you are alone. Are you alone? Wakati watu wamekuwacha marafiki. Sangini wapigia simu wapokei. Eh? 
Are you alone? Kuna moja ukimuita ataitika. There is always a direct line to him. Yeye yeah, apa, apa sio mteja asiyepatikana. Si mteja. Eh? Betu ya huko haijangi. Amen. Network ya huko haikatiki. Anasema niite nami nitaitika. Amen. Anytime call upon him. When you need in trouble, call upon him in danger. Call upon him. When you feel weak, when you feel unable, when you feel like you have come to your end, call upon his name. He says, I will answer you. The Bible has called him a very present help in a time of need. And imagine he will be like that forever. Is that not a blessing? Is that not good news? Hallelujah. So Elisha has a servant called Gehazi. Then Gehazi anamka asubuhi anapata milima imezungukwa. Na askari na magari ya vita na silaha na maadui na analia asubuhi anamwambia Elisha tumeangamia. Tutafanya nini tuikata hii ni twadhala. Elisha akuangalia kuona kile Gehazi aliangalia Instead alimuombea afunguliwe macho ili aone kitu kingine Focus yake itoke kwa maadui aone Mungu Na maandiko yanasema Mungu akafungua macho yake na akaona magari ya moto na majeshi wamezunguka Elisha Kile ambacho nataka kuona ndicho utaona it's not because the Assyrians were not there. They were there. They were real. When Gehazi said to Elisha, I see chariots around us and the horses and I see the enemies and I see their weapons and I see their terror. It was true. But Elisha deliberately refused to see that. We have to deliberately as believers refuse to see what the enemy wants to show us. There is something the devil wants you to see. Refuse it. Turn your attention to what God wants you to see. Sema nitaona kile Mungu ananionyesha. Mungu ananionyesha ushindi. Ananionyesha upenyo. Ananionyesha kuinuliwa. Ananionyesha utukufu. Ananionyesha kwenda mbele. Ananionyesha mlango uliofunguka. Wakati shetani anakuambia hapo hakuna njia, sema kuna njia. My God makes a way where there's no way. Hallelujah. Fixing our eyes upon Jesus will bring a big difference in our lives. And it is in every our day-to-day -day lives. Both in small and big issues. So it's a deliberate move. Elijah says, "No, mimi sitaangalia madui. Mimi najua kuna wengi walio pande wetu." Najua Mungu ako upande wetu. Na ndio Paulo anasema if God be for us, who can be against us? Yeah, it's because there are going to be things that are going to be against you. There's going to be opposition in your life. Katika njia yako na safari yako ya mbinguni kutatokea vikwazo. Kutatokea maadui. Kutatokea vita. Kutatokea changamoto. Lakini kataa kuziona. Because if you concentrate on them, they will keep on magnifying. But if you begin to fix your eyes upon Jesus, you see God's greatness. God's ability to deliver you. You see God's love for you. You will see God's care for you. And when you begin to see these positive things, then your faith begins to escalate. And as your faith rises, as you begin to hear what God is saying to you, then the enemy begins to go down. You lay adui ambaye alikuwa ni kama mlima, anaanza kuyayuka mbele zako. The enemy has not changed. It's the same size. But you have magnified God in your heart. When David faced Goliath, Goliath did not become When David was telling him, I'm coming against you. Si kwa sababu, alikuwa naona ninjitu. But it was an opportunity for him to experience the greatness of the God he carried. Let 
your giant get stronger and bigger so that you can experience the bigness, the greatness and the strength of your God. Amen. Amen. So as believers every day we'll be faced with challenges. But we have to learn to trust in the Lord. Only Jesus will not change. Let's not depend on other things. Because when we depend on other things, they will not help us. Uzitegemea watu. Ukitegemea mungu, mungu watatumia watu. That's a secret. Don't look at people as though they are the solution or they are the solution to your life. David says, some trust in chariots, others in horses. But we, it's different for us. Sisi ya tuwenendi hivyo. Sisi tunakata kuangalia watu. Tunakata kuangalia vitu. Waza kuangalia your bank account. You'll be discouraged. It might be reading negative. Don't look at your doctor. He might be crying for mercy. Even himself. We have lost almost 40 doctors now. Over 10 specialists. Consultants. Doctors. Qualified. They have died. And there are many more. Even who die of other things. Yeah, they are human beings. They are human beings. People look at politicians. Nasema ni kisupport fulani ya pata yokiti mambo yangu bas. Madhina magu ya mwadhala no bongo. Paimu ndo mina madhina magu. Kaya leo mina madhina magu. Paimu ndo mamina. Wimu kenge. Kengu kwa. Kengu kwa. Umedanganyi? That's why Jeremiah says cast is everyone who trusts in, in man. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Whose confidence is in the Lord is God. Fix your eyes upon Jesus. What one has a ribikiwa na mambo? Bala mbao likuwa na tegemea. Biashara yako inaweza kuaribika. Wateja wanaweza kosekana. Kazi inaweza achishwa kazi. Maundu ni madhuka ando ni maalioka lakini ngai wetu ndo alioka Mungu wetu habandiliki hata bandilika amen, amen. na wale wananjishikanisha na yeye wanamtegemea Mungu maandiko yanasema ni kama mlima zayuni hawatatingizika amen. amen so god wants us to focus on him to trust in him to depend on him. Remember when Jesus fed people with bread in the book of John chapter 6. The story is there. It's a very long story. Uh, and then he left them. Aliwapatia mikato wakakula kashiba. Alafu wakatoka. Mandiku anasema kapanda mashua kainda malipengine. Akafuka bahari ya the Sea of Galilee, which is also called the Sea of Tiberias. And when he crossed over to the other side, what was Kimbia Uko? Kazunguka. But he pumped out, and he said, Yes, we will go in the end. I know why you are looking for me. <laughs> As though they are very interested in Jesus. No, they are not interested in Jesus. They are interested in what Jesus can give. Unfortunately, they were interested in which in what Jesus could give, but it could not last for long. Yes, wanawalisha mikate, lakini kile anapeana ni zaidi ya mikate. Anapeana mkate ozima. So he told them, I know why you are looking for me. Not because you saw miracles. It's because you want the bread. You know, the miracle, if the making of bread is a miracle to you, it's supposed to strengthen your faith. Miracles are meant 
to build people's faith. That's what Jesus, when he was preaching to the multitudes, he would do many miracles to them so that it could aid their faith in God. When you have faith, you don't need a miracle to believe. Because you already believe in Jesus. And that is the maturity God wants the church to come to. Where you know God is powerful, even if no miracle is happening. Lakini wale amba wanja okoka, saingine wanaitaji kusaidiwa, ni unjiza hapa na pale. Ndiyo waamini mungu wa kona nguvu. And that is what true worship is. As we said in the morning, it's worshiping God for who he is. Not for, just for what he can give. So Jesus begins to talk to them. Verse 40, John chapter 6, verse 40. And this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who sees the sun, everyone who does what? Who sees the sun looking unto Jesus. Who considers what Jesus came to do and who he is. And the revolution he can bring in your life eternally. But everyone who sees the son and believes in him may have everlasting life and I will raise him up at the last day. So Jesus did not only come to give people bread, the physical bread. He came to give us the bread of life. Hallelujah. Verse 48. Verse 48. Verse 48. I am the bread of Kasema mimi ndimi mkato uzima. Wacha nini imekata ingina amba muna kula inaisha? Na niyamuda tu? Muna kuja tena muna taka imekata ingine. Yesu wakupatia uzima milele, basi umesaidika forever. Ni uzima naita ni uzima tele. Nothing else that needs to be done to it. No addition, nothing. It is enough. Verse 49. I'm the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they did what? They died. They are dead. Hiyo mikate hata ni kiopatia kila siku. Haita wasaidia. Ita wasaidia tu kwa muda tu. Because they, your fathers ate manna, that bread. But they are dead. Verse 50. 50. This is the bread which comes down from heaven. That one may eat of it and not. He draws a comparison between himself as the bread of life and the bread that Moses gave them in the wilderness. Ya kwamba walikula mikate hiyo na wakafa. Hata hii mikate ingina wapatia leo ya hapa fisiko mkikula mtakufa. Lakini mimi ndimi mkate wa uzima. Na mtu wakinila mimi hata kufa. Hata ishi melele. Thank God that you've eaten that bread. Amen. 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 That is believing in Jesus. Mwili wake ulio teswa. Iyo yesu ndi walikuwa naita mkate wa uzima. Maana alijua kwamba ataenda msalabani, atapigwa mijeledi, atateseka, hatimaye atakufa na kufufuka. Na kupitia mateso na kifo na kufufuo wake, basi hapo watakao muamini, watapata uzima milele. Awata itaji kukula mkate ngini. Verse 54. Verse 54. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. Let's continue. For my flesh is food indeed and my blood is drink indeed. Anasema mwili wangu ni chakula alisi. Zaitu kuiwa na lak na sindule mbingi tukua tute na sio na sio tuthi ni endunia ni no kuli oka ikuwa atendi no siya kabinda. Zaitu kuwa no ya kabinda. Kila chabata ni kuya kimutu chathayu. Nundu kiwa kea nduke wanza ingi. Kiu kikote idia thayu ni una thayu la ukite. Tukila chakula ambacho ni Yesu Kristo. Kate wa uzima. Iyo inatusaidia maisha haya na maisha ya jayo. Kwa hivu mungu wata kitusaidia na katika mambo yapa ulimwenguni tupate magari. Tupate usome masomo. Tupate vio. Pesa na nini manyumba. Ivo vitu ni vizuri. Lakini katika akilize tutujue ni vya muda tu. If those are the things that matter most to you in this life, Paul says, you are the most pitiable person. 
But our hope is in the resurrected life. Hallelujah. Our hope is in immortality. That is where the solution of all the problems is. Hii mateso yote na kilio na uzuni na maafa ya dunia hii na mashida na njaa na magonjwa pale ambapo tutabandilishwa itaishia hapo yote. Na maandiko yanasema hapo hakutakuwa na unyonge huko mbinguni. Machozi yatafutwa. Hakutakuwa na mauti, hakutakuwa na mateso, hakutakuwa na ukabila, hakutakuwa na kukosa kazi. That is what should give us hope as believers. And that is the difference between you and someone who doesn't have Jesus. Kwa sababu wao macho yao yanaona vitu hizi za dunia tu peke yake. Verse 56. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. So uko ndani ya Yesu na yako ndani yako. Tuendelee tu. Let's continue. As the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father. So he who feeds on me will live because of So you are filled with God's life. The life of God is in you. Verse 58. This is the bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. 59 These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum for 60 Therefore many of his disciples when they heard this said this is a hard saying who can understand it. Other fashion says who can receive it. Other fashion says who can accept it. Nani anaweza kubaliana hii mambo? Sisi tulikuwa tunakuja kutatie mikate ya Broadways. Super love. Don't say bread, say super love. Eh? Sasa Yesu you are talking about <laughs> your body being the bread. Eh? Unaongea juu ya mikate ya uzima. Sisi tumekujia super love. Chapati. Wa wow, wa wow, kila mtu akati ende na zake nimbani nasema hii mambo umeanza kubandilisha hivi Yesu <laughs> we are not ready for this because their focus was on the physical things Jesus wants them to pay attention to spiritual issues because the physical things are temporal spiritual things are eternal they have eternal value this is a hard saying who can understand it give us another fashion NIV This is our teaching who can accept it There are many different versions but that is the main point is that they were offended And there are people who come to Jesus even today who get saved sometimes depending on what you have heard what you have been taught expecting ukija kwa Yesu tangu siku hiyo immediately mambo yako itabadilika physically On that not I have bad news for you it may not happen so but we know when we are in Christ we are God's children and he will take care of us that one we know and it does not mean that because unjapata hiyo promotion unjapata hiyo kazi au unjapata hizo pesa au unjapona hii injafanyika haimaanishi ya kwamba there is something wrong with you nothing wrong or there is something wrong with your salvation you are still saved as a matter of fact many are the afflictions of the righteous Jesus said I have told you these things so that in me you might have peace in the world you will have what but be of good cheer I have overcome mimi nakanga ndani hiyo wokovu nikijua nikiwa tayari nikijua wokovu iko hivyo hivyo maandiko yanasema Nikiomba kila siku Bwana nisaidie, nipiganie, nibariki, nipe neema, give me prosper me, meet my needs, all these things. So I really pray for needs. Mainly I declare things. Because many of the things that we ask God he has already given to us. We need to declare and thank him. Lakini hata hivyo ukaangechonjo 
Kwa sababu hata saa ingine kwa sababu ya imani yako ndani ya Yesu utapata mateso. Yesu alisema kama walimuchukia hata sisi tutachukiwa. Don't think you are going to be everybody's cup of tea because you are saved. Hadi nimeokoka. Fikira watu watatokea na makofi juu. Wengine watatokea na visu. Some of them will come out with stones. Au umesema umeokoka tuete level ni tukite. Timanza na mama ndemba wako. Wako wako kwa wako kwa. Alama kwa ndo tuki kwazo. Looking unto Jesus. So they complained this man is what is he talking about? Calling himself the bread of life. Saying that he's coming from heaven. He's saying he's a gift of God. Saying that when we believe in him we shall not die. Anaongea juu ya mwili wake. Ati mwili wake ni chakula. Kisoma hapo mbele. Fila ya tuna time. Kisoma hizo mambo yote. Kwa hapo tuna scriptures. Down there. But then Jesus says in verse 63. Verse 63. I'm just wedding up. Verse 63. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. Ukimwangalia Yesu utasikia maneno ya uzima. Bana siwe sana. Asubuhi tuliona vile Mariamu aliketi miguni pa Yesu. Akaanza kusikia neno ambalo ni la uzima, ni la milele ambalo lita lingemjenga ndani yake. Martha alikuwa anashughulika na mambo ya chai na mikate na nini soka mwambia unajishughulisha mambo mengi bure kitu kimoja kinahitajika And Jesus is saying the spirit gives life the flesh these breads and other things they profit nothing Tutaziacha wapi Hapa leo kuna watu wengi sana wamekufa wakaacha magari zimepakiwa hapo nje na wakaacha mapesa kwa kwa account today because they profit nothing Mambo ya mwili tu ya dunia hii. Tio asubuhi tukasema let's not equate God with things. Tusilinganishe Mungu na vitu. Mungu si vitu. Ngai ti si ndo. Ngai ni ngai. Ngai yonga maye weka. Basi na bata si ndo ni ngai. God wants us to hear that word. To believe in Jesus. That word that encourages us that in Christ it is well. Verse 66. So you know the word of God gives life. Si mnajua neno iko na uzima. Says Hebrews says Hebrews 4:12 says we see hapo Hebrews 4:12 says the word for the word of God is living and active sharper than a double-edged sword it penetrates to divide in joint and marrow soul and spirit is a designer of the thoughts and the attitude of the heart. That's what that verse is. Ya kwamba neno la mungu lina nguvu na nikali kuliko upanga mkali kuili inaweza penyeza katika hali yote ya maisha yako na kuleta solution. That's why I said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word because the word of God carries the life of God. And as you keep on feeding yourself with God's word, you are feeding yourself with encouragement, with the healing, with the victory, with the light. Amen. With the wisdom. As you feed your heart, your spirit, as the word becomes an integral part of your life, then you are bouging on the inside. It is the sword of the spirit. So the roa mungu anapata material ya kutumia kusaidia. That is one of the points. How do we look on Jesus? Hallelujah. So, but before we go there, um, verse 66, many of the disciples, what happened? From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Can you say Atuambiwa alibaki wangapi. Lakini wale wanawanjitokeza vizuri ni the 12. 
You can imagine the, the blow. Jesus, the Son of God, can say, okay. What about a backslide? <laughs> See me, it's in the scripture. Went back, what does went back mean? <laughs> they are not following Jesus now because, well, yes, mikate, mikate, ayen, mkate, na zitu mikate. Yes, wa nangea njia mkate. Na zitu wataka nini? Mikate. Hiyo ndiyo shida. Watu wale wanao kuja kanisani wakiwa na nia mikate, they will be disappointed. And badilisha nia yako mapema. Edha weba, hawe manza mikate, nuto nolio miona. Lakini edha weenda mukate, webo. Ukwe ni enazi ya u. Andala mekanisa, ni mwimanza mekate. We ndo otwa wa, we ndo otwa na, we ndo we ya. Ma dono liki ya dhina. Lakini edha we nda yesu. Eh, vono umuona. Eh, pareza sifuwe sana. So waka geuka, waka bandika, waka enda, waka muacha. Aka geukia wale kumi na wawili. Aka uliza, wanaendu na umuthi. Pero la mwea mbende mwea. Tuithi pa mwa. Niyo ya nandero siya chao? Petelo nuu kwa atisi ya laini. Nuu maniye kila kia nabata nandero siya chao? Siya dhayu. Na hao ndiyo walibaki pillars. Hata kanisani lea wale watabaki pillars. Hata wakatu wa shake up. Ni wale wanajua yesu ndiye neno la uzima. Yesu ndiye uzima. Atuji kanisani kuponyo atu. Tukupona tutapona. Atuji kanisani tu tupate promotion. Apana, we don't just come to judge to that. We come to encounter Jesus. We come to encounter heaven. Hallelujah. We come to be lifted, our faith to be built. We come to experience God in our lives. We come to worship him and declare he is God. Anyhow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 16, 8, David says, I have set the Lord always before me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Amen. It's the same David who says in Psalm 27, 4, that one thing that I desire, and this is what I seek. Iki nicho kitu ni nauliza buwana, ni naomba, ya kwamba ni kae katika nyumba ya buwana siku zote. Niki utanzama wema wabwana. Tiko ndo zizi ya kute ute na ute. Pana. Wanzio zizi ya ute tabetelo. Nuhu kwa ambio likanzini. Ile ilizababisha Petro. Kisoma Matthew 14.30. Ya kwamba Petro hameona Yesu. Yesu hakamambia. Hakamuliza wewe ni buwana. Kama wewe ni Yesu ni ambia ni kuje. Yesu hakamambia njo. Hakatoka. Toka ndani ya mashua. Haka ingia. Kayanza kutembea njui ya maji. Na lakini ya lipo kuwa kitembea njia maji Mariko anasema Hakaona mawimbi Hakaona upepo Ni wauliza Lamu ndrazizi yesu Hethe azizi chao Ilame telo umizie medho balabe yesu No mbaka wane kendu kingi Medho maa kumai kalama tuwane As long as umabingu yetu mbaka wane kendu Wewe unaona nini Eh, mungu aliuliza eh, Ibrahimu unaona wapi? Ni Ibrahimu ama ni Yeremia? Si ni Yeremia? Chapter 1 nikamuuliza unaona nini? Kwa sababu mimi natanzama neno langu. Ngajia issue yake ni ndeto yake. Ili nifanye nini? Nitimize maisha ni mwako. Kama unaona neno la Mungu uona kilanga yuko kwenda uone. That's why the Bible says meditating upon the word of God. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Lakini ukiangalia uko kando utaanza kuzama. Unajua mbe ukauka. Sema sita akauka. Sitazama. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. David says I am looking at the Lord. That's where we are. Anasema nikae katika nyumba ya Bwana. Hiyo ni maombi. Hiyo ndio point ya pili. How do we look at him? Kaa katika maombi. Seek the Lord. Consult with God about your life. Tuzikimbe kibie kila mahali ya pana. Seek the Lord. The Bible says, call upon me in the time of need. Nite siku ya shida. Ita kuitika. Banezo wa sifuwe sana. Wa mtafutao kwa bidi. Watamuona buwana. You search the Lord 
and find him if you search for him with all your heart. Tafuta Mungu, manza ngaitu liandu, tuweka na wanu. Tafuta Mungu, kama unataka kumuona Mungu mtafute. Kwa mambo makubwa na mambo madogo. Kwa kazi, kwa jamii, kwa biashara yako, kwa Kristo wako, kwa uduma, tutafute Mungu. Usichoke kupiga magoti kila wakati. Every now and then, anguka tu mwambi, ngaine no kamu ye, no iwe. No iwe, yesu no iwe, ninavata naku, kila mudenya. Ona yi kong moka nga na itulu mozioka? We nundu we no yesu. Si kutisha. Asita kutisha. Mambo ya kuangalia ni mengi. Shetani analeta mambo mingi hata hii kitu inaitwa hii COVID-19 ni vitu tu anataka watu watoe macho yao kwa Mungu. Wazingatie kila siku COVID-19 kila kitu is like nimekuwa Mungu mwingine. Shindwe na ishiri. Na imeshindwa. Shindwe kabisa. We cannot have our attention on this thing as, the, as if it is God. David says, I have set the Lord always before me. Hallelujah. Na anasema kwa sababu ya kumzingatia Bwana, kwa sababu ya kumtazama Bwana sitatingizika. Ndika adhingidhwa. Wewe usiti chao. Wewe never. Eh? So, the way to look at him, tumesema one is by studying the word of God, meditating on the word of God, constantly hearing the voice of God. Hiyo ndiyo sana anasema. Someone too, those who meditate upon his word, they will be strong and they will be stable. Acts 20.32, Paul says, I commend you to, you, to, you to God and to the word of his grace. The word of God is able to give you inheritance. It's able to bring you to your full potential and your destiny. That's what he's saying. And asema, you can achieve. When you have God, you are in God's word. When you're in the plan of God according as per his word in your life that he wants to fulfill you are going to walk in stability hata mawimbi akikupiga pande hii na ingine you are stable on the lord why do you think people like muslims it's not very easy to change them kwa sababu they have been grounded since walipokuwa watoto madrasa wanafundishwa mambo ya muhammad mambo ya nini hii kitu yote wanafundishwa wakitokelezea na ndio maandiko yanasema i think it's uh, proverbs 22:6 teach their child teach the young child the way they should go na hata akikuwa mzee atafanya nini hata iacha ni maandiko yanasema hivyo lakini sisi wazazi watoto wetu tunawaachilia tu we don't know wame learn ni ask your child mulifundisha nini sunday school hata muongeleshe neno la mungu muongeleshe let them let them begin to follow god's word in their lives let them know god's word is what will keep them Usione ni katoto adha nika kuelewa sinduli ngelea kwa leo ndeto niki Bona nika kuelewa simu wika nenge simu kuta kama try this so try this internet na nika miaka 3 Nike zing games nike zaba las yuma Simone Kamba kwa leo ndeto angaia tuno kai lewe Yowana ozwe ni baba mudhuwe ibuko nya Tuweke kwa na siana ta siana. Ti siana utu kibindezia. Sika tuweke siana when it comes to spiritual things. Lakini kwa mamba yale mengine, watoto wako mbele sana. Na ni responsibility yetu kama wazazi. Tuafundishe wakiwa wadogo. Take time, pray for them. Give them opportunity to pray. Teach them how to pray. For small things. Short prayer. Waombe chakula, waombe masomo, waombe wakuombe mzazi, waombe njami, waombe taifa. Wafundishe. Na ukianza kuwafundisha those basic things as they grow up they begin to catch them. Na uzuri wa watoto ni kwamba akishika kitu sio rahisi kuachilia. Because of the innocence of their minds. So wanaamini kile wamewaambia iko hivyo. Na watashikilia hiyo. So don't underrate children. The devil knows that and ndio sababu unaona amechukua watoto sana and is destroying them. Because he knows the potential in children. Romans 10:17 says Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Number two, be consistent in prayer. Prayer is an expression of our constant need of God. And our total dependence on him. 
ya kwamba siendi bila wewe bwana Musa anasema ninakuhitaji bwana katika maisha yangu so every morning i wake up kneel down every wakati ukipata nafasi even you don't have to set special time though that's very important every day you take time and pray before you begin your day but any time in the day talk to him i talk to god continuously you know then talk to god talk to him bless his name praise him let him know your heart and your mind express himself to yourself to him when things are difficult when things are just talk to him he is the one who understands you more than anybody else let him know that you rely on him then finally remove your eyes from the storms purpose to look on the lord gaze upon the lord pay attention to god and you realize how much is available for you amen mambo yakiwa mazuri yakiwa mabaya macho ikae hapo kwa yesu